어느 날 오빠가 범죄자가 되었다. Imagine your favorite idol, the one you admire for their innocence and kindness, suddenly revealed as one of the biggest criminals involved in activities you've only seen in mafia movies. There has never been a case in K-pop as shocking as Burning Sun. When the BBC World Service's award-winning investigations team, BBCI, released their documentary, Burning Sun Exposing the Secret K-Pop Chat Group on YouTube, it went viral, reaching millions of views in just days. This documentary brought back the trauma that has haunted the Korean entertainment industry for years. The case turned out to be much deeper than it appeared on the surface, leaving us to wonder, what really happened to the perpetrators? The case. The Burning Sun case earned its name from the location of the crimes, a VIP nightclub in Seoul called Burning Sun, owned by Shungri. This club became the backdrop for one of the most complicated scandals to hit Korea, extending beyond the realm of K-pop. This scandal revealed the hidden lives of some of the most prominent Korean idols, Seungri, a former member of Big Bang, Jung Jun Young, and Choi Jong Hoon, a former member of FT Island. Seungri was famous as the youngest member of Big Bang, often teased by his older bandmates. Jung Jun Young was known for his quirky behavior and his entertaining quiz answers on the variety show. Choi Jong Hoon always maintained a perfect image. He was the quiet, handsome member admired by everyone, almost portraying a charming, shy persona. They all portrayed a harmless image. The case initially grabbed public attention in 2016 when Jung Jun Young was accused of sharing illegally recorded videos of his then girlfriend. Jung handed his phone over to a private forensics lab before submitting to the police, while his lawyer pressured both the lab and the victim. Fans blamed Jung's girlfriend for lying, and the police closed the case after a half hearted investigation. However, a copy of Jung's phone made by the forensics company survived. Three years later, SBS Entertainment News reporter Kang Kyung Yoon, who had been investigating the case, obtained this copy. It uncovered a secret K pop idol chat group on Kakao Talk, a popular instant messaging app in South Korea. The chat room contained several illegally recorded videos of women, and shockingly, the BBC documentary reveals that some K pop idols were actively sharing and commenting on these videos. Following this revelation, reporter Kong published her meticulously researched story, leading to the arrest of the first culprit, Jung Jun Young. The arrest inspired other victims to step forward and file charges. It required immense courage, especially considering how the public had initially turned against Jung's girlfriend when she first reported him to the police. Their bravery resulted in significant court cases against other former superstars who had previously presented themselves as wholesome. Around the same time, an incident occurred at Burning Sun. The victim, Mr. Kim, swiftly uploaded a petition to the Blue House, Korea's presidential office. In the petition, he detailed his side of the story and what he witnessed at Burning Sun. The release of CCTV footage of the incident sparked further investigation, unveiling larger crimes taking place there and how they are linked to the idol's secret chat room. The Burning Sun Club was shut down on February 17, 2019. The prevailing emotion among viewers was anger, particularly directed at the light sentences given to the perpetrators in contrast to the seriousness of the case. The Sentence Jung Jun Young left the entertainment industry on March 12, 2019, and received a five-year prison sentence. Choi Jong Hoon stepped down from his position on March 14, 2019, and was sentenced to two and a half years. Sungri resigned from the Korean entertainment industry on March 11, 2019. He was found guilty of nine crimes, sentenced to 18 months in prison, and fined after an appeal. Now. All the perpetrators have been released. Pretty shocking, huh? And that raises the next question. Where are they now? Jung Jun Young. After serving five years, he was released in March of this year from a prison in Mokpo, South Jola. Initially, he was sentenced to six years in prison, 80 hours of sexual violence treatment education, and a five-year restriction on working in institutions caring for children or the disabled. However, in November 2019, Jung appealed the decision. The appellate court reduced the sentence to five years in April 2020, prompting further appeals from both Jung and the prosecutors. Despite these appeals, the Supreme Court upheld Jung's prison term in September 2020. According to an exclusive report by Exports News on May 2, Jung Jun Young 
was taking steps towards resuming his music career as a producer. Aware of the public's negative perception post-release, reportedly, Jung Joon Young has reached out to industry contacts, proposing collaborations on various music projects, and expressed his desire to continue his music career as a producer rather than a singer. On SBS Love FM's radio show, reporter Kang Kyung Yoon, who was featured in the BBC documentary, revealed some additional backstory. According to Kang, Jung Joon Young is planning to emigrate to another country, Choi Jong Hoon. Choi was initially given a five-year prison sentence, but this was reduced to two years and six months after he reached a settlement with his victims. After serving his sentence, the former idol was released in November 2021. In January 2022, a news agency called The Fact shared footage of Choi attending a church service with his mother. In the parking lot, a reporter approached Choi with a recording device and asked whether he had any plans to return to the entertainment industry. Choi refused to answer and instead said, I also have bad trauma and shock from the scandal. I don't know what to say to you when you are coming at me with a recording device. When the former idol noticed a cameraman, Choi became visibly upset and flustered. He then called his mom saying, What are you doing, mom? These reporters came up to me and started asking for an interview. See it here. His mom was also heard saying, Stop, stop bothering my son who is trying to live in faith. She also added, The conclusion will be fine in the end. You just wait, this is so unfair. In January of this year, a surprising piece of news caught the attention of Korean netizens. It was reported that former FT Island member Choi Jong Hoon would be returning to the Japanese entertainment industry. According to reports, Choi has created an account on Japan's premier fan community platform, Fanacon. This platform allows fans to interact with celebrities for a monthly subscription fee of $4. He also posted a message on the platform saying, It's been about five years since I last communicated with you all. Your messages have given me strength and helped me become a healthier version of myself. I am truly grateful. Continuing, he stated, In the future, I want to share everything about my aspirations and personal life. I will work hard to create a bright future with all of you. Please support me. Thank you in advance. Can you believe the nerve of his message? Korean netizens strongly disapprove of this news, given Choi Jong-hoon's past legal troubles. Sungri While the other two seem to keep a low profile with little news coverage, Sungri, on the other hand, continues to be in the media spotlight. Netizens are angry because he appears to be leading a normal life, even using his past fame as an idol. Initially sentenced to three years on nine charges, Sungri was released on February 9, 2023, after serving 18 months, much to the surprise of netizens. A month after his release, SPO TV News, an exclusive media outlet, reported that he seems to be doing well. According to his acquaintances, Sungri is maintaining a cheerful attitude in his day-to-day -day life. One acquaintance even claimed, Sungri called up his close acquaintances, including celebrities, and invited them out, saying, let's go clubbing. Meanwhile, during his final testimony in front of the Supreme Court, Sungri said, I've spent the last three years reflecting on myself, and I promise to become a better person through this trial. Does that seem convincing now? In the same month, Dispatch published a report stating that Sungri and his rumored girlfriend, model influencer Yu Hae Won, were seen on vacation in Bangkok, Thailand. According to Dispatch, the two were seen walking hand in hand in the lobby of a luxurious hotel in Bangkok, showing affection towards each other while also being cautious and avoiding encounters with other Korean tourists. In October 2023, Dispatch revealed another scandal. Sungri was spotted in Bali, Indonesia, and was caught two-timing with two different women. Interestingly, both women were invited to the same vacation, had the same itinerary, but were invited one after the other. It's worth noting that neither of these women was the one he was previously reported vacationing with in Bangkok. To dispatch, one of the women said, I immediately got on the plane after finding out he had been cheating. Then I learned he went to a club a day after I left. He has no regrets. That man will never change. Even after his release from prison, Sungri's stories at clubs and luxury birthday parties have continued to keep him in the spotlight. He was spotted attending the F1 Grand Prix in Singapore, where he posed with a local influencer. He celebrated his birthday in December in Bangkok, surrounded by celebrity friends from Thailand and Japan. 
One Thai singer-actor congratulates Sungri on Instagram and shared photos from Sungri's lively birthday celebration. He was also spotted attending wedding parties and birthday celebrations in Indonesia, Cambodia, and Malaysia. However, he faced criticism for showing off and mentioning Big Bang's G-Dragon while abroad, trying to capitalize on the members and the group's name even though he's no longer a part of it. At a party in Malaysia, he danced and sang to Bang Bang Bang, a song by Big Bang. On another party, he was photographed posing for pictures while holding a Big Bang light stick and enjoying the atmosphere by playing Big Bang songs. Reports even surfaced of him hosting a fan meeting in Cambodia earlier this year, reportedly for his birthday. The event took place at Prince Brewing, a craft beer brewery with a lounge area. During the event, Sungri stood on stage and shouted, <laughs> eliciting excited cheers from the crowd. Additionally, when Good Boy by GD and Taeyang played, Sungri energetically danced along to the music's rhythm. And it seems like he is ready to open another nightclub business. Reports suggest that he has obtained investment to open a club in Cambodia. Additionally, there were reports of him attending parties in Hong Kong, sparking speculation among netizens that he might be planning to open a nightclub there as well. In response to these rumors, the Hong Kong government released an official statement clarifying the situation. They stated, Regarding media reports about a former Korean artist planning to relocate to Hong Kong, the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region has not received any visa application from this individual for any talent admission schemes. Other idols involved that are never sentenced. Firstly, there's former CN Blue member Lee Jong Hyun. Initially, he denied any involvement, but later confessed to watching the illegally filmed videos. Jong Hyun left CN Blue, completed his military service, and was discharged. Some of his fans celebrated his discharge, believing in his innocence. Since then, he has chosen to stay out of the spotlight and deleted his social media accounts. Secondly, there's former Beast member Yong Jun Hyung. Shortly after the scandal surfaced, he issued an official apology upon leaving Beast in March 2019. He admitted to receiving the illegal footage from Jung Jun Young, although he wasn't part of the group chat. He then enlisted in the military that same year. After his discharge, he tried to return to the industry through various activities but faced consistent criticism. This year, it was revealed that he's dating another K-pop idol, Hyuna. Despite backlash on Hyuna's Instagram regarding her boyfriend, the couple appears unfazed. This case is a wake-up call that K-pop idols may not always be as they seem. The fact that all the perpetrators have been released, with some returning to the entertainment scene or living their lives openly, has sparked outrage among netizens. Many believe that justice hasn't been fully served. What are your thoughts on this? Now take a break and join us behind the scenes as we delve into how your favorite idols secretly date. We've got exclusive insights from both idols and industry insiders right here. Or check out these must-watch videos you might have missed. Subscribe now and don't let these fascinating stories pass you by.